Just like in your car, magnetos play a crucial role in igniting the engine. Think of them as powerhouses behind every spark that keeps your engine running smoothly. Magnetos are similar to automobile distributors, but with a twist. Instead of distributing the spark to multiple cylinders, magnetos generate high voltage sparks directly at each spark plug. This design eliminates the need for an external power source and ensures reliable engine ignition, even in challenging conditions. Just like spark plugs in your car, magnetos create the spark needed to ignite the fuel-air mixture in the engine cylinders. This is what keeps your helicopter's engines powered. So remember, when you're up in the air cruising around in the helicopter, magnetos are the unsung heroes that keep your helicopter's engine firing on all cylinders. The really cool thing about magnetos is that in a complete electrical failure, meaning the alternator and the battery are completely gone, the magnetos, if they're still spinning, generate their own electricity. Both the R22 and the R44 helicopters are equipped with dual magnetos. This redundancy ensures that if one magneto fails, the other can continue to provide the necessary spark, allowing the engines to keep running. During pre-flight checks, pilots often switch between magnetos to ensure both are functioning properly. When performing the magneto check, you'll switch between the left, right, or both magnetos while the engine is running at a specific RPM. You should observe a slight drop in engine RPM when switching to each individual magneto, but the engine should continue running smoothly. If the engine runs rough or if the RPM drop is excessive, it could indicate a problem with one of the magnetos. When performing the magneto check, be very sure not to turn the key all the way to the off position. It has happened before and I'm sure it may happen to you at some point in time in your career because you're doing the mag checks and you're, you're so used to it. It's just like, ah, click, click, oh, click, 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 oh. Well, the natural reaction is to try and turn it back on and you don't want to do that. If you accidentally turn the engine off during the magnetos check, go ahead and disengage the rotor system, wait till the rotor stops spinning, and then start the engine again. Uh, it's happened to me, uh, students have done it to me, so just be aware of that possibility when performing the magneto check. Magnetos are a small but mighty part of what keeps your R22 or R44 running smoothly. They're a great example of how to helicopters are designed with safety and redundancy in mind ensuring that you can always stay airborne, even in the face of a minor mechanical issue. And as always, like and subscribe if you want to learn more about the ins and outs of helicopters. My courses are designed just for you. Find them in the description below. Until next time.